And now, the Delirious Dads Gaming Podcast. So, um, I'm talking about something that I've experienced personally. I don't know if Clinton and Ryan have seen this. I think they have. But in the game of Fall Guys, which we have also been playing quite frequently lately, mm-hmm. there's been a problem with cheaters. When yes, there cheaters, has. Cheaters, they mean hackers, right? Kind of just out of nowhere, though, too. Like, our first few weeks of playing it didn't seem like we noticed anything. Right. And then this last time, it was like almost every time we played, we noticed Right. It. And mm-hmm. it's becoming a big problem. Mm. Um, so, despite... Metatonic's best efforts, cheaters are still running rampant in the PC version of Fall Guys. Cheaters have been floating in the air and jumping, uh, floating in the air over Jump Showdown, Mm -hmm. flying up the hill in Fall Mountain, and even growing to be three size, uh, three times the normal size of the player in Fall Ball. We haven't seen that one yet. That's funny. So, uh, what I've witnessed personally is, um, I've seen somebody float in the air above the map almost and mm-hmm. um which one was that? It was in that it was in that level that was a final and the little spinny spinny thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it spins the platforms drop out. Yeah. Well this guy just found a way to hack and float above the map. So of mm-hmm. course he's gonna win. Doesn't have mm-hmm. to you know, he doesn't have to do anything. He just sets That's rare, anyway. especially on a final. Ugh, that would drive me crazy. Right. And it, especially it was because a lot of these honest players, I mean, Fall Guys, even though it's modeled like a children's game, it's fun and bright, it can be very competitive. It can oh, be yeah. very challenging. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can play for hours and not make it to a final. So, I mean, it can be tough uh, to get there and then have somebody cheat you out of a win, you know, mm-hmm. regardless if you're close to winning or not. It's just frustrating. Right. And then the other thing I've seen and what frustrated me the other night, we were playing for hours and I hardly made it into the finals. Well, the last you guys locked off and I played one more round. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when I did, I made it all the way to the finals and the final was the um the Fall Mountain where the crown is. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, floating at the top and I had just previously won my last crown on that. I love that map. I feel like right. it's one of the easiest finals. Yes. Yeah, so so three, two, one, the countdown starts, it starts. I start running and I literally get three steps and then somebody wins. Wow. Wow. I was like, what's going on? Well, I guess some guy was floating and he just uh, hacked his way straight up of the mountain to the crown. So, wow. you know, it's just like, man, you, you yeah. try so hard. Really ruined, that's, a, that's a game ruiner. I mean, all right. the way. And it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, wow, what a way to end my night. <laughs> I yeah. got all the way to the end and this guy just hacked up there and won. So um, it says, you know, these people are cheating and honest players are having enough of it. Like we're talking about. They're just done. They, they hate it. So what's kind of happening now is these people are, are teaming up against these hackers. Um, and so what had happened just recently in this article they were talking about is on fall ball. Uh, mm-hmm. They had noticed somebody cheated, they hacked and they made themselves three times their size. Mm-hmm. Well, the people on this own guy's team who noticed he did that mm-hmm. didn't like it either. So they mm-hmm. all started jumping on him mm-hmm. and then they own gold to make him lose. Nice. And so oh, they, nice. they basically sabotaged their own team so that they could make this guy lose because he's a hacker, you know? Mm-hmm. And so this guy put his, uh, his two cents on it. He said, I wish I could see the hacker raging at the fact that everyone turned against him, including his own team, said Redditor <laughs> Dustin1280. Players have worked together to sabotage their own teams in Egg Scramble, Fall Ball, and other games in order to prevent the cheaters on their team from advancing or winning. Mm -hmm. Um, Players have been sacrificing themselves to stop cheaters since the game launched, but the number of cheaters has only grown alongside the player base. The problem has gotten so bad that some cheaters have come up with strategies to mass eliminate players from the games, like Seesaw. Um, Metatonic announced its upcoming plan to combat cheaters on September 6th. Uh, the studio said that they are expanding its current direction software and adding some anti-cheat systems uh, that Fortnite uses. So, okay. okay. Um, the community has been quick to point out that Metatonic's current system 
where cheaters are supported to be are supposed to be banned after one game is not working. Uh, some cheaters have shown off legendary skins and emotes that require more than 10 wins to purchase, um, meaning they've been playing for some time and using their hacks for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just um, win, wins all the time, just boosting their, their XP. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you enter into, you know, they're basically what they're saying is if you enter into a game and you see a legendary skin, odds are that guy's not playing fairly right now because right. the game is so fresh still. Um, you know, it's been out for a little while, but you have to really grind if you're going to get, so I'm not trying to discredit anybody who's grinding and getting legendary skins, but most likely that's a telltale sign that right, right. somebody is, is hacking there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So that's for my first one there, but yeah, any thoughts on that guy? I just, right now there's this weird thing happening with internet game. I mean, we know that there, there's always been hackers. There's always been ways to cheat. I remember playing uh, Saints Row back in the day, and you play this game called uh, Protect the Pimp in your mm-hmm. person. Basically, the, the, the idea was you had four players on one side of the map, four players on the other. And one side, uh, you had a, the pimp, and you had to protect him. If he died, the game was over. And right. you, would, you would run and try to get the, you know, get to whatever. I forget what it was we had to get to. And so uh, the pimp had this. He'd slap you with the pimp hand. It was a one-shot kill. <laughs> <laughs> right so it was a lot of fun but people would um they would uh reset the router or like hit the little switch on the router do, 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 and it would allow yep. it would allow the pimp to be all laggy and disappear and then mm-hmm. he just come up and he'd pop up and just slap you and kill you you know yeah that was a popular uh, so, thing back in the day they called mm-hmm. that a lag switch yep yeah on, lag, on lag switching. that was for xbox they were doing that a lot mm-hmm. another thing they would do is those the uh the triggers that made you shoot more you know what mm-hmm. i mean that made you shoot faster i forget what they called that um but yeah, it's been an issue before, but it's always like here and there, kind of yeah. rare, you so know. I, or maybe you got a guy who climbed onto some spot that you're not supposed to be able to climb onto. And mm-hmm. That's always that's kind of fun in games, you know what I mean? That's just. Mm-hmm. But this is yeah, it's gotten a little bit much. I I hope Fall Guys does better than Call of Duty because Call of Duty has not done very well at all, in my opinion. Well, people yeah. cheating it like back when I remember like playing the first multiplayer online games, like you said, Ryan, if somebody found a spot they could sit on. Right. Or yeah, something nobody else spot. knew about and they're just sniping, you know, and all right. that kind of stuff. Well, that still takes some skill level. Mm-hmm, and it mm-hmm. still takes some like, you know, you're still having to shoot people and, and and so and then when you have a game like this where people are literally hacking and all they do is sit there and win mm-hmm. the game, it's like, What are you guys doing? Like Right. What, well, why is this fun for you? And we yeah, also we, have, we also have the problem of nowadays we have online tournaments. So now we have Call of Duty tournaments with money on the line. And people are, are messing up. I don't know what Blizzard does on their end, but like with mm-hmm. WoW, they're very feels very uh, strict. So I just feel like I haven't seen as much cheating in that. Maybe it's just because they've been in that online space longer, so they've got mm-hmm. more things set in place to keep people from cheating. Same thing with like Overwatch. I don't feel like I've came across a, a ton of cheaters in that game. Right. Um, so it's just kind of, I, I wonder if these big companies are just jumping into this online space um, with these bigger games like Warzone, for instance, or right. even yeah. even um, Fall Guys where it's 60 players. Um, you're increasing your odds of getting some bad apples in there. You right. want to mess right. up your game. Uh, well, anything competitive, I could see people cheating just to be trolls. Um, but when we're talking like World of Warcraft, you're ob- if you're cheating and leveling up or whatever, you're you're obviously cheating yourself out of an environment and a story and well, stuff mm-hmm. like that. So like, if you know what I'm saying? Like if you're getting in there and just skipping a bunch of stuff, that's well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying even on their competitive end, like, um, like, uh, their arenas where it's three V three. I did not even right. know that was a thing. Uh huh. Yeah. They got three V three and then you have, uh, you have your open world PVP spots. Um, and then just like your battlegrounds where it's like 40 versus 40. Um, but you don't hear of, of people hacking the game, and I think that's because they update and keep that thing up to date every week. Uh-huh. Which I know, I know Call of Duty does some updates, but I mean Blizzard. I mean every week, every Tuesday, you're getting a patch, whether it's something right. small mm-hmm. or you know they're changing something with the game, with the code internally. Well, I mean we have gotten a lot of updates with Call of, with Call of Duty, a lot of changes and things like that. It just doesn't seem to have changed the cheat side of it. Well, I don't think they're addressing the cheat aspect mm-hmm. of it right i don't think they're you know to them it's not 
I don't know if they're just kind of like, hey guys, we're moving to Cold War. It was right. fun. Well, uh, that'd be a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, it would kill Warzone is what it would do. Because well, Warzone is supposed to continue with Cold War, so mm-hmm. yeah, they, they need to address it or it's going to end up affecting both games and that's their continued, that's their new bread and butter. You know what I mean? Yeah. They've got to figure it out. And we've seen with, and, Val- with Valorant, they just made you up, up, uh, install an anti-cheat system that's on your computer. Like It has to be up and running before you can even log into the game. Yeah, well, a lot of games have that. I mean, we have an anti-cheat system even for DayZ, mm-hmm. right? I mean, there were still people who got past it and things like that. But, I mean, I think you got a game like this, like um, Fallout. It's doing really good. It's a small game. It's not Fall competing guys. with Fall Fall. Yeah, You always call it Fallout, guys, yep, so you got yep. me. <laughs> Fallout uh, Boys, which is a band. So the um, the fact that they're not really competing with a game like um, Fortnite, right? Mm-hmm. or one of these other games that has good cheat blockers, right, and systems in it. Or, you know, you would think that they should just kind of partner up and throw some money at these guys that already have figured it out. You don't have yeah. to figure all that out. You can just buy your way out of that. So you don't – because the longer that lasts, and especially how how fast it's ramped up, the cheating, it's just going to completely kill their game. Mm-hmm. And so they're going to have to deal with it strongly – or I think it's going to hurt them big time because they've already got kind of a niche, unique, new game, and people will just get burnt out. And you know, I'm not going to play this game. It'll lose its addiction factor because that's how that game is. That game's addicting in a weird way, and it's yeah. going to lose that factor if I get to the crown and some cheater gets it every time. I'm yeah. done. That yeah. happened to me three or four times, and I won't go back to it. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like banning them from the game isn't going to be enough. They probably need to ban the IP address if they can yeah. do that. I'm sure they can. Now, yeah. then with that, you know, you'd have people going and getting, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it right now. It changes your IP address. Probably go get that. But still, I mean, I, I don't know. What what kind of, no, what they, penal, what what kind of penalties need to do in place is, need to be done? They need to partner with Steam, and it needs to be a Steam anti-cheat. And when you get caught cheating on any of those Steam games, you lose your Steam account altogether. Yeah. All about, of it. You lose access to all the games. What about with Blizz? Dang. Activision Blizz. Same thing. They just do it for their own. Okay. You know I, what I mean? I'm surprised they didn't pick Blizz's brain on, on some of that anti-cheat stuff. I'm not saying they're yeah, perfect well, at it, but I I'm feel sure like they, I'm, I'm sure they stuff. did. It's just this game's a little bit different. You know, the way it's coded and things like that <laughs> must be some different kind of backdoors or something. I don't know. I don't understand yeah. that stuff enough. Well, that's more on Infinity Ward's part, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with it, but it is becoming more and more of a headache. Mm-hmm. You just want to play a game, and uh, matter of fact, I played Tony Hawk the other night online, and the game ended in like fifteen seconds. And I was a little bit scared that someone had just cheated. <laughs> right? Oh, you mean like they hit a combo or something? Yeah, like they hit, hit their max score. So I'm not sure. Whoa. Not really sure because people are really that good in the game. So there was that. But still, it, it went so fast, and I didn't get to see who won. So, let me ask you a question about Tony Hawk because we only played against each other a little bit, and I knew we were just trash, probably compared to other people. But is it so bad that like there's no way you're ever gonna win online because everybody is so much better? I don't think it's that. I think we really, 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 really suck. We got a long okay. ways to climb out of the gutter. Okay. I mean, just we're not even. We're not. Hey, we're not even in the gutter. We're like in the. In the sewers, like in the yeah, you just you know. just speak for yourself over there. Well, we'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know okay. about you. Honey. We'll see. We're gonna see tonight. This has been a Delirious Dads production. For more information about the show, visit our website at www.deliriousdadsgaming.com. You can also find us on facebook.com slash deliriousdadsgaming, twitch.tv, and YouTube. Make sure you like and share our pages to help us grow the channel. You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. Please leave a rating and review if you enjoy the show. Thank you again for listening, and we hope to see you next time.